What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Sorry to Bother You. Let's rock this. If you love satires like the ones that South Park unleashes on their show on a weekly basis, you're gonna love Sorry to Bother You. Because writer-director Boots Riley's way of addressing the pressure of socioeconomic ladder and how corporate America is abusing the labor workforce is so absurd and outrageous that it actually makes sense. The imagination in this film runs wild, man. It's visually trippy. You ain't never seen anything like it. Sorry to Bother You is weird as fuck. I repeat, this movie is weird as fuck. Written and directed by Boots Riley, Sorry to Bother You has a star-studded cast in this story set in an alternate present-day version of Oakland where Lakeith Stanfield's character, Cassius Green, discovers a magical key to professional success which propels him into a macabre universe. If I'm not mistaken, this is Boots Riley's feature film directorial debut, and an impressive one, I might add. This is the type of movie that takes you on a ridiculous, crazy ride. You don't know where the destination is until you get a bird's eye view on what exactly it is that Boots Riley tries to convey. Partly the reason is because, well, the thing is, the trailers and the previews for this film only give you sort of like the first half of the story, you know, with the whole using white voice to be a better telemarketer, which I admit is the funny part of Sorry to Bother You. But halfway through, it takes an even weirder turn because the story evolves and its comedy gets less and less funny, but its satirical aspect gets more and more potent. And by way of irony, Boots Riley not only makes fun of the concept of office meetings, but he also makes fun of protests. Every inch of this film does look and move like something that the South Park guys, Stray Parker and Matt Stone would come up with. The cast of Sorry to Bother You is fantastic. You recognize Lakeith Stanfield from last year's Oscar-nominated film Get Out and the hugely popular series Atlanta. Tessa Thompson is, of course, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And then there's Army Hammer from The Social Network and Call Me By Your Name fame. And then there's Terry Crews, Stephen Yoon, Omari Hardwick, and of course the legendary Danny Glover. At one point in this film, he even said his iconic line, I'm too old for this shit. Man, I would have loved to be the fly in that room when those actors first read Boots Riley's script and just catch their reaction to it. Lakeith has been a rising star for quite some time, and in this movie you get to see how charming and how bold his performance is. I think it's partly because he has this everyman persona for the minority. The same way people say that Tom Hanks has that everyman persona. But in this case, for this movie, Lakeith's everyman is a working class poor minority at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder, which makes it all the more relatable because Almost the entire country is part of the 99%. This movie basically wants to give you that idea of how badly some folks want to be part of the 1%. How much they want to be part of the elite. Sorry to Bother You, in its strange way, is illustrating the war between the classes in society. So it's more than just about how tedious telemarketing job is. Now, you may not find it particularly hilarious, but Riley's approach, though can be considered rough around the edges, is actually pretty brutally honest. The soundtrack is also equally great. It elevates this fantasy sci-fi psychedelic ride. The pacing is very fast. The way the scenes move from one to the next is very energetic. This is a movie that's refreshing and ambitious, and it might take some time for you to wrap your head around its final 30 minutes or so but it doesn't get to the point where it leaves you hanging or leaves you perplexed. This is one of the most quote-unquote original stories I've seen in a long time. Sorry to Bother You is a work of art, a satirical masterpiece. 
So that's it. That's my review of Sorry to Bother You. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTubeverse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. This latest review is made possible thanks to your support on Patreon, so please go to patreon.com slash ramascreen, sign up there today, and become my patrons. Let's rock this.